So you already know, it's a girl from Nurse and Crafts and I am back with another video to show you guys how to DIY graphic tee shirt. And so I'm so excited because I always go in the store and I see these shirts on the rack and I'd be like, girl, you could go home and make that yourself and I never do. So I'm finally making my very own graphic tee shirt today and I'm here to show you guys just how I did that. So no long talking, I just need you guys to do a few things for me before we get this video started. And that is to watch this video to its entirety. Yes, watch the video all the way to the end. And then I need you guys to either like or comment on the video. And then of course, I need you guys to hit that red button down below. And yes, subscribe to the channel. Your girl needs your help. I need your support. <laughs> so yeah, then we can get started with the video. Okay guys, so I went ahead and sized my photo already. I have it at 8.5 by 11 and I am now going to the print settings. So what I want to do now is go to preferences and then I'm going to paper quality. advanced and then what we want to do is print borderless so we don't want any white around the photo we want our photo to print um on the entire page if we can as big as we can get it so turning that on and then i'm going to change my settings to semi-gloss because the paper isn't really glossy I have my photo printed already and for all you Nicki Minaj fans you'll be happy because I decided to choose her for my graphic tee today and it's so funny because persons always tell me that we look alike do we <laughs> so anyhow um, I got this photo off of the internet um, because I'm making it for myself and it's not for sale I think it should be fine. I don't know. Most likely the photo is probably copyrighted. Um, but I'm making it for myself. Like I said, it's not for sale. So when you look for a photo online, you want to make sure that it's copyright free. I think they call it commercial. Um, I'm not sure how you know whether the photo is commercial or not. So that's something to go and look up. Something to go and research. So like I said, decided to use her today and it's also funny because I think her album or her single super freaky girl I'm assuming just dropped this week I think it was like August 12th or something like that so very timely so I went ahead already went ahead already and put the crease in my shirt so for those of you this may be your first time watching the video so I'm just gonna go over this quickly, but you should definitely go back to my other t-shirt videos. But what I usually do is put full shirt in half and press it down just to put a crease in it so that we can um, know where the middle of the shirt is because of course you want your image to be straight and centered on your shirt. We're gonna go ahead and now put our t-shirt on the press. What you're gonna do is separate the image from the backing part of the paper and you're going to Peel it apart so sometimes I have to use a sharp object just to help me and I try not to peel it all of the way I do it maybe about a hundred percent sorry I do it maybe about half <laughs> halfway so that it would be easier to place on the shirt so my temperature is set to 325 
It's set to 59 degrees, but I'm only going to do this for about 15 to 20 seconds. So this little thing here is also used to help you to center your shirt. So you just put it up to the round neck of the shirt, line it up. And of course you're gonna move it before you press And it also helps you to know how high you want your photo to be. I am using the Teflon sheet. I'm not sure what you call this. With the paper. So after peeling that off, we now have a graphic shirt. Wow, and the quality on that is nice. I can't wait to wear it. This is the perfect time, summertime. We're gonna be outside. And so this can pair perfectly with a pair of jeans, short jeans, long jeans, whatever. But anyway, this video isn't for that. <laughs> So guys, there you have it. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. I hope the video was entertaining and also informative. If there is anything that I would have missed out or if any questions that you may have, leave them below and, and I will definitely answer the best that I can. So thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Deuces.